Hi, I'm Paul from Studio One Expert. Now, recently I've been sent a couple of projects to mix, and originally these songs were created inside of Studio One. So, as I'm a Studio One user, the guys that are asking me to mix the songs have just sent me the Studio One project file, which is really handy and a great way to work. Now, the only problem that's happened with these two songs that I've been asked to mix are inside of the project folders, there's been some audio files missing. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to show you how you can manage all of your files. So if you want to send your project off to an engineer to mix, or if you actually want to back up all of your files and make sure they're all in one place, this is a way to do it. So first of all, I've got this song here. I'm going to click on Paul. So if we look down here, this is where my file should be. So it should be under Volumes, PDSD, Studio One Projects, Where I Am. And as you can see, this one down here is in the same place. If I scroll across, one's in Bounces and one's in Media. So the problem occurs is with this bit up here. So I was also sent some extra files to download and they were sent via WeTransfer. As I've got a Mac, they came into my Downloads folder. And as you can see, we've got Users, Paul Drew, Downloads, WeTransfer. Now, if I try and back up this project folder, which is down here, if I click on my Finder, and if I go down to my PDSD here, click up here. Now, if I back up this folder here, these files here will not be backed up with the project. So we need to sort that out first of all. So if I click on my pool window here, and I click anywhere, what I want to do is to go down to copy external files. And as you can see, all of these files here that I'm missing that aren't actually inside of my project folder are listed here. So I just click yes. And that's going to copy all of those files that are missing straight over to that audio folder. Okay, now, so all of these files here are now inside my project folder. So I'm sure that there's nothing that's going to be missing. So I can back this up or I can send to someone else and there'll be nothing missing. Now, there is another way of doing this. If I go to my Studio One and File, I can go Save to New Folder. And I can create a new folder, say on my desktop. And I'm going to create a new folder here and we're going to call it Where I Am. Click Create and it's created a new folder. Click Save. Now, all of these files are being saved to a separate folder on my desktop. Now, I know that wherever I'm getting files from, just in case there's files all over my system, if I do that, everything's going to be backed up to that folder on my desktop, and then I can send that off to someone else, or I can back it up to my hard drives. Now, there is another thing you can actually do, so you don't have to go through this process. So if you go to Studio One here, Preferences, and you go to User Data, if you click on Ask to Copy External Files When Saving Song, that will automatically save your files to the media folder inside your song folder. So I'm Paul from Studio One Expert. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time.